All right, so section 7.3, this is where we are today. You guys should all have this done, because this was actually assigned some time ago uh, as far as an assignment. We talked about, uh, so the vocab board should be done. How many of you have it all finished? Excellent. Oh, well, well, this section, 7.3? Okay, excellent, good. All right. So we talk about diffusion, facilitated diffusion. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about osmosis, isotonic, hypertonic, hypotonic. Okay, three different uh, three different forms of similar that are similar, and all they have done is they've changed the prefix, which means each one of them means something a little bit different. So we we'll have to figure out what those prefixes mean. And then we talk about uh, osmotic pressure. All right. So we're talking we're talking about uh, cell transport. This is uh, inside the cell, okay? Uh, transporting of materials uh, inside the cell and uh, getting getting things that are needed to different parts of the cell or getting things that are needed outside the cell to different parts of the body, okay? Because different cells have different functions, right? We, we, we talked about all the differentiated cells. You have muscle cells, you have nerve cells, you have bone cells. They all have different functions, all right? And because they have different functions, they have different needs. They have different needs for nutrients or different amounts of water or whatever, might they, whatever they might need, all right? And those things have to be able to get into the cell. And that's what we talked about last week a little bit. We were talking about the membrane. Remember the egg, okay? What's a chicken egg? It's one big cell. It's one big cell. Okay? So yes, when you are having your uh, fried egg sandwiches or you're having your scrambled eggs, you're eating uh, chicken embryos. Good stuff. Okay? Lots of protein. Is that why the eggs are good for you? There's lots of protein. Okay? Alright. So we got uh, we got this large we got this large egg, this single cell. Okay, and what did I do with it uh, when, in, earlier in the fall with the, with the other class? What did I do with it? What did I do with the egg? Okay, I took, I took the egg, I put it into vinegar, and I, I, I dissolved the calcium shell from the outside of it, which then left us with the single cell still inside a membrane, that's the, 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 the like cell membrane. It's exactly, what, exactly how it works. Okay, and that membrane allows fluids to move across it. Okay, and nutrients and whatever else you might need. So then you take that egg and you put it into distilled water. Why distilled water? Why do we use distilled water? No You're close, not just chemicals. No anything. Okay, it's just water. There's no, there's no, there are no nutrients in there. There are no elements in there. There's nothing in distilled water. We've taken all that stuff out. All the impurities are taken out. Okay, so it's just pure water. Okay, it's distilled. All right. So then we put that egg inside there. All right. Now we have a large concentration of pure water, basically, on the outside of the egg. And inside the egg, what do we have? What do we have inside that membrane? What do we have inside the cell? Think what, what kind of things are inside the cell? Proteins, nutrients, okay? Um, so now we're gonna, we're gonna have that water, we're gonna move that, that water's gonna move from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. That's one of these, that's, that's osmosis, that's what we're talking about here. The diffusion of water across a semi-permeable membrane. That's what osmosis is. That's what we're going to do. That's, that's what we, why we do that demonstration is to show how that water moves from an area. The, the water is very, very concentrated outside the egg. Inside the egg, not so much. Okay? So the water forces its way across that membrane, and what happens to the egg? It swells up. It takes on more water. All right? Okay. So we're going to talk about that a little bit more, but those are your vocabulary words. Oh, let me, let me hit these real quickly. Uh, hypertonic, isotonic, and hypotonic. Three words, okay, have the same root word in them. Tonic, all right? And then you can have hyper, iso, 
or hyper or hypo down here. Let me get it. Is that right? All right. So you can either have you know hyper, iso, or hypotonic. What's it, what does that mean? What do those words mean? What do those words mean? Well, I would hope you've heard of them before. They were in your vocabulary list. But what do those what do those three words represent? Or what do they mean? And how, how do they apply to what we're talking about here? ISO sounds like isolated. Okay. Kinda. Maybe. Same, ISO, same, okay. Hyper, you guys don't know what hyper means. What's it mean? It means it's high or too much, okay. So then what do you think hypo means? I'm gonna write that down. This is the opposite of that. The opposite of what? Hyper. The opposite of hyper. So if it's not if, if, if it's not too much, it's too much. Yeah. Well, how about how about not enough? Yeah, that's better than too much. Or lower. We could say it that way too. Plus okay. All right. So if you have a, an isotonic solution, okay, you have an isotonic solution. What they're telling us there is that solution has the same amount of salts or uh, maybe potassium chloride, sodium chloride, those types of salts. It has the same amount of salts that you would find in a cell. It's isotonic, okay? It means it's, it, it's exactly the same as what you would find in a cell, all right? That's isotonic, okay? If the solution, if we add four more tablespoons of salt to it, Okay, it's going to become hypertonic. It's going to have too much. Okay, and you're going to notice a difference. Okay, in what happens to and how it reacts to the cell. Or if we don't put enough salt in. Okay, it's kind of not going to. Maybe it's distilled water. Maybe that would be a hypotonic solution. Distilled water would be hypotonic. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have any uh, nutrients or any salts in it. Okay. Each one of these would have a different impact on a cell. Okay? If we take if we take blood cells, let's, let's say we let's say we get a sample of red blood cells from Mr. Sentai's hand. I stab myself in the finger and squeeze out a couple drops of blood cells. Okay? If we put those blood cells into an isotonic solution, guess what? Nothing. Nothing happens. They look exactly the same. They look like red blood cells. If we take a drop of that blood blood and put those blood cells into a hypertonic solution, a solution that's got a high concentration of salt in it, guess what happens to my blood cells? They die. Well, they might, they, they might die. But all the, all the water gets sucked out of them because all the water, remember water's moving from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration? So the area of higher concentration of water is inside the cell, the area of lower concentration of water is outside the cell, so the water actually gets sucked through the membrane, out into the, and, and the, the red blood cells, okay, red blood cells sort of look like a donut, okay, if you can actually see them, they kind of look like a donut, they're kind of nice shape, but if you put them in a hypertonic solution, I don't even know if I can do this. <laughs> They kind of take on a star shape, and they actually they actually like contract. And if you put them in a distilled water solution, it has no salt in it, just like the egg. They get real big. Sometimes they get so much water that they burst. Okay. So, a, hyper, a hypertonic solution means there's, there could be too much salt, okay, or too much uh, potassium. An isotonic solution means it's got the same balance that you're going to find in a cell, 
and a hypotonic means it doesn't have enough. Okay, and this would be again. Uh, the, the, the one I can think of, the distilled water is the best one I can think of for that. If you're using distilled water, what, and what that's going to do to the cells is they're going to swell up, just like the egg swelled up. Okay, so let's get on, let's move on to this. We'll come back to some of this.